Hi there. Welcome to another episode of our series on limits. In this presentation, we will learn how to identify the limit given the graph of a particular function. But before we continue, do not forget to like this video, hit the subscription and notification bell to stay updated of future videos. For this example, the graph that we see here is actually a graph of a piecewise function. And to identify the limit at a particular value, it's real simple. We simply take a look at what happens to the function, the value of the function we are focusing on the y-axis. What happens if we're going to make our x value closer to that particular number that we see here? So let's start with the limit of q of x as x approaches negative 3. Let's start from the right side of negative 3. So here is negative 3. From the right side of it, what happens to the graph? Is it approaching a particular y value? Yes, it is. It is approaching negative 1. So actually, we can answer already the second question here, the second limit question. The limit of q of x as x approaches negative 3 from the right side, we see the symbol here. So it's a one-sided limit. The answer is negative one. How about from the left side of negative 3? Left side, this portion here, this portion. Do we see any part of the graph? We do not see anything. That is because the graph is undefined or do not have values at any number x value that is at the left of negative 3. The graph or the function q of x is non-existent at x less than negative 3. Since the function does not have a value at this part of the x-axis, then the limit could not as well exist. This means that the limit of q of x as x approaches negative 3 is non-existent. We write d n e. Why again? Because the limit from both sides of negative 3 does not exist. We only have the limit from the right side. We do not have the limit from the left side. Let's have another example. It's the same function actually. It's still q of x. It's the same graph but this time the limit as x approaches negative 2. Where is negative 2? Negative 2 is here. It's negative 2. Let's start from the right side of negative 2. If we're going to choose x values that are really close to negative 2 it is approaching negative 2 what happens to the y value it seems that it is approaching 0 also from the left side of negative 2 it is still approaching the same number 0 so it's equal it's existing and it's equal it's both 0 we can really say that the limit of q of x is zero because from the left side and from the right side the limit is both zero limit of q of x as x approaches negative one how about this one negative one we have to check that from the left side and from the right side the limit is existing and they have to be equal otherwise it's either one-sided or the limit does not exist from the right side of negative one there it is approaching a y value that seems to be positive one also from the left side it is approaching the same y value that's positive one so that the limit of q of x as x approaches negative one is positive one another one another example limit of q of x as x approaches this time positive one let us start from the right side of 1. 1 is there. But from the right side of it, if we follow the graph, maybe from this point, approaching positive 1 from the right side, it is approaching y equal to 2. So from the right side of 1, the limit is positive 2. From the left side of it, left side of 1, the graph is behaving this way. The limit seems to be positive 
1. The limit exists, but if we compare the limit from the right side and the left side, they are not equal. Since the question here, the limit question that we have here is a general one, it's not asking for a one-sided limit, then we still say that the limit does not exist. And that is because although the one-sided limits exist, they are not equal. This is the same question that we had. It's still at x equal to 1. We already identified that this does not exist. But the limit from the right side of positive 1 is equal to 2. And from the left side of it is positive 1. Another example, it's at another x value. It's the same graph, but this time as x approaches positive 2 there. Let us observe from the right side of the graph, it is approaching y equal to 2. From the right side of x equal to positive 2, still the graph is approaching y equal to 2. So it's existing and it's equal. The limit is equal to positive 2. That is how we identify the limit given a graph. Click the link above for the continuation of our presentation on limits.